What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 4, Problem 25 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Jural Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 4 is all about motion in two and three dimensions. And in Problem 25, a dart is thrown at a dartboard, and we are asked to find the distance from the bullseye that it hits and the distance that the dart thrower is from the board. So to do this, we need to use the equation delta y is equal to the initial velocity in the y times t plus one half a t squared. This is for part a. And we're told that the dart is thrown horizontally, so there's no initial velocity in the y direction. So our delta y is equal to one half a t squared. And we have all those values, so we can just plug them in. So this is one half times negative 9.81 meters per second squared times 0 0.19 seconds squared. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get negative 0 0.18 meters. And we are just asked for a distance, so we can just say the distance is equal to 0 0.18 meters. Negative or positive in this situation doesn't really matter. And for part B, we need to find the distance that the dart thrower is from the board, and we can use the same equation and say delta x is equal to v0xt plus one half at squared. And in this case, the dart is not accelerating in the x direction, so we can cancel out this term. And then delta x is just equal to the initial velocity in the x times t, which both of these values we have, so this is equal to 10 meters per second times 0 0.19 seconds. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get 1.9 meters. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.